Our main event continues as Roosh, the Butcher of the Blade of La Faction and Gobernable are dominating the Dark Order here tonight. Dark Order, a man short, as we have documented. And Johnny hungy has got to mount some offense. And John Silver looking for a huge break, and this may be it. He takes out the Blade, and now the chance for Reynolds. And just a special programming note, AEW Rampage next week returns to our regularly scheduled time, 10, 9 Central, right here on TNT. It's going to be another great show, ladies and gentlemen. Hope you'll join us. And what a timely intervention that was by Roosh, taking Reynolds off the corner to prevent Silver from making the tag. There's a times, there are times that, that Roosh, I think, wastes time, Tony, a little bit. Uh, you know, he's got a man down right now. He's not going for a cover. He's not going for a submission. Those are little pieces of his game that he misses. Wait a minute. Wait, Wait a second. Up on the stage. That's Evil Uno and negative one. They apparently talked in there. Yeah, they've got ten. I don't... Here he comes. Where's he been? Ten charging. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Obviously something that apparently happened in the back. We've seen the mind games between Roosh and Ten over the last few weeks. And oh my, what? Oh, a new deal has been struck, apparently. Much to the dismay and shock of Dark Order. Evaluno comes down, and he just got swarmed by the Butcher and the Blade. And now, Roosh with John Silver in his sights, oh. the bull's horns in the corner. Silver trying to get his hands up, but it was too late. The cover. And the win! Man, what a shocking development here on this afternoon on Rampage. They're not done, guys. They're not done. Uno has just been sent into the steps, and now inside the ring, Alex Reynolds, he's going at his former brother in arms, 10. Man, this can be a very dangerous faction if it goes that far. Oh, the discus lariat from 10. Now 10 is, seems to be making a commitment. How about negative one? He cannot believe it. This has always been his favorite. And that, that, that discus lariat, that was that was the move of Mr. Brody Lee, the man that, that headed up the Dark Order. And now 10 just turning his back. Poor little guy's got his heart broken. Yeah, of course he has. It was the, the hand-picked guy by Mr. Brody Lee, and then he was the friend it was, it was closer than friends. He was family. Yeah. For all the Dark Order. And now the discus lariat on Uno. Nothing but raw, unmitigated power. Look at this. Tearing the mask to the knee. Oh, he's busted open. Just it, absolute disrespect by Roosh and Ten tearing the mask of Uno. Insult to injury. This is brutal. This is absolutely brutal. Oh, my God. They are trying to destroy, completely destroy the Dark Order. Yeah, once and for all, that seems to be the mission of La Faxion and Gobernable. Man, what an implosion. An inadvertent, massive implosion in the Dark Order. Now, Roosh and Ten with Reynolds. Oh, through the table, the timekeeper's table at ringside. Man, this is an abomination. This is a massacre. From the hand opened to the fist clenched in one fell swoop for 10. And now all the while, negative one at the top of the stage. He must be heartbroken. And no doubt. Oh, he wait, wait, wait a second. Look at 10. He's striding towards. Disgusting. And look at him smile. How can he take pleasure in this? What the hell is wrong with Vance? What kind of human being is Preston Vance? What kind of man are you, young man? Not only betraying Uno, Silver, and Reynolds now breaking the heart of negative one. 